Hello, my loves. It's me, Paul. And me, Jason. It's collectively, those oh, vegan, vegan guys. Uh, we're back at the plot. Uh, not gonna lie. It's a bit of a shit storm down here at the moment. It's all gone a bit wrong, hasn't it? Well, we did say we've been we've been that busy doing. We've we've just not been able to commit the time to it, particularly over the last two months. As you're very aware, what with me getting a job, uh, and um, there being so many vegan queen shows, uh, there's literally been one or two every weekend since the beginning of June. Yes, and uh, that doesn't stop yet until. August, yeah. toward the end of August. Although we're very grateful for it, and obviously the vegan queens are very grateful for it. If you're not aware of the vegan queens, by the way, we'll put a link up there. Um, the allotment is not grateful at all. No, we would normally have spent a lot more time here than we have. Um, however, sometimes this kind of thing is a good experiment as well, to just kind of stand back. Okay, you do you for a few weeks we'll come and war yeah yeah do you know what i mean and yeah. just and let's see how it goes but there's a lot of weeds um that need pulling which is really the main objective of today today we're going to focus on the big stuff aren't we yeah to start with and then just kind of take it from there and see what our energy levels are like um the executive decision was made to come down today because it's probably going to be a bit rainy tomorrow and sunday's a vegan queen's gig yeah. uh, we're at um, uh, which would have been yesterday. It would have been a stop or pride all day yesterday if you're watching this on Monday. Um, so yeah, uh, the, the, there aren't usually people from the committee here on these days for us to be able to hire the, the more. more. Yeah. Um, but it needs a more really bad and it needs a weed really bad however everything's coming along just lovely yeah isn't it yeah we'll update you today on uh, progress uh, just from last week um, for those of you that follow our allotment vlogs regularly um, we'll update you on what's going on uh, the tomatoes are coming through thick and fast which is lovely to see um, but we'll as we always do we'll update you on everything we'll show you the good the bad and the ugly the apples are coming through we've got beans to harvest loads of tomatoes in the greenhouse yeah lots of tomatoes it feels like we're gonna hopefully fingers crossed we're gonna have a bit of a cycle with the tomatoes in that like every time we come down a few will have ripened up we'll pull them we'll have a we'll have a couple of handfuls or a handful and then next time we come down same again indeed we've got small ones we've got big ones we've got all, sorts. all kinds of varieties yeah it's lovely i've just pulled these uh three carrots look at them because the, they were quite big, tall, and yeah. kind of almost flowering. Polly will have lost us now. Oh no, she hasn't. So, yeah, I've just pulled them three. I don't know whether I'm going to pull any more necessarily. But, um, yeah. Oh, the thick tors, Sasha, are coming through lovely. There's five on the plant. The butternut squashes and the blue hubbards. It, it, Gourd Grove is going beautifully yeah. at the moment, isn't it? Fair to say. Salad Street, all the stuff that we replanted a few weeks ago, very little of anything coming through. It's very strange. We watered well. Mm -hmm. we, we we did everything we should do. Yeah. Um, just hasn't worked. Uh, so I mean, and as we've said, we're not experts, so we can we can have educated guesses at what it might have been. Like we said last week, you know, it could be that actually the the nutrients in the soil you need topping up. Like it might have used up a large amount of the nutrients in the soil, but we just don't know. But it, you're right; it is odd that they didn't come up. Isn't yeah, it? it's strange. Uh, right, should we get on with some weeded? Yeah, let's focus on the big stuff. Join us. No, but actually, come here and bloody help, though. I'm sick of this. <laughs>
of the dead limb, put it on it at all, get rid of it, let the rest of the tree breathe. Use that for me uh, insect hotel, bug hotel. Nice. When we get round to it, we'll leave it on there to dry. Dry out. If you want to say anything, we are recording. Oh, he warns me. <laughs> you don't normally, I'm usually picking my nose or scratching my ass or something. This then, is true, you have mentioned this before. <laughs> and then suddenly I'm like, um, is he filming? <laughs> so what are we doing now, mister? We're having a nice brew and a little five minute rest. Uh, we've tackled rather a huge amount of weeds. Picked three courgettes already, more. Um, picked three carrots just because they looked like they were flowering and uh, a beetroot to try it to, to just see and uh, yeah we're gonna have a brew do a bit more weeding and then that's probably it isn't it yeah I think so we've got there are so many tomatoes on the tomato plants in the greenhouse so we desperately need some more sun now to get them red uh, and that should um, I should be able to do what I did last year which is basically I, I did it in batches in the I can't remember if I used the jug blender or the Nutribullet it matters not but I did it in batches and I just did tomato and garlic and liquidized it and froze it in portions and that became our pasta sauce didn't it I think we've still got one left in the freezer yeah I think so from last year from last year we had our uh, what did I use that tomato for the other night that we picked? Curry. If you watch our meals vlogs, you'll know all this. It's made us a coffee, so I'm going to go and drink. Do you want one? What do you have? Jay, can you make one for? Yeah, sure. Sit down. Forewarned is forearmed. The ice cream man's just stopped. I mean, he's going to be serving a load, load of kids, going down the street 500 yards, and then playing this music again. Yeah. And it's that tune, just walk on at all, give it to me. That one. But no words. Luke, pick three courgettes. And these are the, the three carrots, purple carrots, and one beetroot I've picked just to, just to see how they were you know little tester in it little tester uh, we were just talking about our blueberries because we bought two plants last year and by summer we had so many blueberries you probably saw mum and dad took a cup home we took a few cups home over the weeks didn't we and then when we had that four day heat wave here we came down and the blueberry plants looked like the, the berries looked like they were shriveled up terribly on them so I don't think they do well in extreme heat uh, blueberries they do well in a nice temperate mm -hmm. you know heat so hardly any blueberries this year and we bought two new plants but they will probably come into fruition next year um, and as you just saw uh, I've cut another branch off the uh, apple tree because it was dead and there was nothing on it uh, I just hope I'm doing the right thing doing that because they seem like dead limbs. I think they are. I don't they? That makes sense to me. Yeah. And the rest of the apples seem to be really coming on very nicely. Yeah, they all look alright, yeah. don't they? The plum tree is so dense this year. Like, there are massive bunches of plums really tightly compact together. Drooping branches, it's so... Yeah, it's so heavy with plums. So hopefully we'll get a, a good yield off that this year. Hey, hey. A plethora of plums. <laughs> But you know what? It doesn't matter if we if we don't. We we like as we said at the start. We fully respect the fact that we haven't had the time to be here as much as we would have liked, particularly at weekends, because mm -hmm. weekends are our free time, obviously, and weekends have been when all the gigs have been. Um, but I'm not going to mourn about that because we've been, you know, this has been an amazing Pride season for the Vegan Queens. It's been awesome, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. absolutely amazing. I wouldn't change it for the world. We've, um, we've really left our mark on every event 
we've uh, played at with more to come mm -hmm. so yeah making a name for ourselves now the vegan queens and we always have that vegan message always always in every show no matter where it is i always make a point of saying climate change is real you're very aware of that it's been happening look at the heat waves and the floods and the blah 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 did you know it's intrinsically linked to animal agriculture try vegan won't you i try and do it nicely well gemini does gemini does yeah oh she's a good egg that she gemini. is isn't she she, she does is. it with a bit of humor a down-to-earth approach funnily enough <laughs> and a bit of class and a bit of class yeah yeah a bit, a bit of northern class yeah. never preaching never a sermon just a minute two minutes just talking about what's important i'm gonna plant this seed in your head and then i'll leave you to it now we're gonna sing bosom buddies we'll always be plant this seed <laughs> yeah ah! sorry i'm sorry about that so we're gonna finish our brews um, and then we're gonna do a bit more and then that'll probably be it We'll show you some close-ups, show you the, the uh, huge amount of tomatoes in the greenhouse. Yeah, we need to get some beautiful shots today. The thick tors, mm -hmm. all the butternut squashes that are uh, kind of growing inside, the beautiful um, blue hubbard that's growing down there. Mm -hmm. the, it's like, considering we've left it on its own for a few weeks. Yeah. It's uh, some stuff's doing great. Thing is, with gourds though, I think this is what you do you plant them and you leave them as long as you water them regularly. And we haven't had to because of the rains we've had. Yeah. You know, this happens. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. So, cheers. Um, hope you're enjoying your coffee. Did he make a good one for you? I always make a good See, one. See, well, I'm talking to them. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying I always make a good one. He does make a good Well, I always make a good coffee. Cheers. See you for some close-ups that soon. salad all wants washing because uh, Jay said we should have salad tonight really. yeah and we sat here before saying what should we have for dinner considering the last few nights yellow stick of things and salad <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah as it turns out you know us by now if you've been watching the channel for a while we're fond of a yellow sticker both of us Ooh, love a yellow sticker love a yellow sticker um I'll be honest I'm a bit frustrated so if you if you if you're picking up the slight sense of frustration on my face, I'm going to be perfectly honest, it's because we've actually made really good progress today in the short time that we've been here, but it doesn't feel like it. No, it doesn't feel like we've made a, a dent in it really. It, it's, look, there's no, we need to stop this. It's been a busy few months. Yes. Nothing will change. Over the next couple of weeks, hopefully as things quieten down, we'll be able to spend a bit more time here. Yeah and we'll still get a great yield of taters oh, and carrots and know. you know all of that stuff I know. Uh, and uh, as you just saw with the kind of shots of the tomatoes and the plums and the gourds and things are 
Things are all right here. Yeah. We just wish we'd have spent more time keeping it neat and tidy because we like it neat and tidy. Um, and of course, you don't want to, you don't want all your plot neighbours thinking, look all the weeds on there coming over here. Do you know what I mean? Got a certain amount of little bit of a reputation to uphold because we did such a good job last year. We did. Um, but uh, you know, for any of you that are out there, um, whether you've got an allotment plot, whether you're growing on a smaller scale, if you're thinking about it, um, like you know, next season, little and often wins. It wins the race, doesn't it? Yeah. We did that last year, little and often, um, and it worked. Uh, you so, know what you we know. didn't do? We didn't come down after work on weekday nights often only to water yeah and we could have spent a couple of hours down here then but then we eat late and this is what i'm saying it's like there's always something oh well we could do that but then this would happen domino effect and you know the fact is we're both working four days a week now and and the vegan queens have taken over our weekends it's all good uh for now no so. complaints at all like paul said lots of stuff flourishing the stuff that isn't flourishing we kind of know why and we plant that seed in our minds ready for next year and yeah. we continue the learning and the growing it's all good isn't it what more could you ask for there is one thing we need to do before we go home what we need to fill the bird feeder yes but that's that's the last thing that we need to do now okay you're going to film that well, I don't know. Oh, I did. I thought that's why you were mentioning it on, on a vlog because you wanted to film it and so I do. It linked in. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, let's get everything done because I want to go home now. And Jason always thinks of twenty things he wants to do just before we leave. So love you, Mister. Love you. Mm. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again next week. That cast massive is that? I think that's pos. Is it pos? Pos. <laughs> Says Puss. Come and say hello, lad. We've not seen you for ages. We've got to show you a shot of Puss now. Um, but before we do, we'll say um, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, please join us again soon. And until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. <coughs> Bye, loves. Puss. Hello, gorgeous. Hello. Hello. Have you got a bit of a limp, lad? Have you got a bit of a limp? It was so. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What's up with your leg? Is one of your legs a bit sore? Eh? Or have you just got old man arthritis? Because you're a bit of an old dude now, aren't you, lad? Hey. Have you been sleeping in our greenhouse? Yeah, he does, doesn't he, apparently? And Damon said he'd seen him in there. He's sleeping, a, he's sleeping in our greenhouse, don't you, at the side of Lemony Brenda? Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, he loves that. He loves that, don't you? Some fella. Oh, hello. Hello. That was a beautiful noise you made then. You're a crazy boy when you're rolling around on the floor. You'll bite me. <laughs> You'll bite me, won't you? Yes, you would. <laughs> fluffy, fluffy puss. Ah, he's a fluffy puss. <laughs> Hello. Mm. Hello, buddy. Hello. Mm. He's a gorgeous boy. He's a gorgeous boy. He's a gorgeous boy, aren't you? Yes, you are. Oh, I think she, you think she got food for him. For the birds, mate. I'm so sorry. For the fat birds. There's a peppermint plant there, though. I remember you loved that last year. Remember that peppermint plant? Remember it?
doing then, you crazy boy? 